Hi boys and girls, today we're doing lesson four called Comparing Lengths in Centimeters. And this probably sounds familiar because we did another lesson like this um, a few days ago called Comparing Lengths in Meters. Now the only difference um, with today's lesson is that we're using centimeters instead of meters. Um, if you recall, centimeters are used to measure smaller objects and meters are used to measure larger objects. Okay. Now, if you remember from the last lesson, comparing lengths, you can compare lengths in two ways. One way that you can compare lengths is comparing with numbers. The other way that you can compare lengths is comparing with words. Here in this picture, we're comparing two things. We're comparing the eraser and we're comparing the crayon. So here we have the eraser and here's the crayon. As you can tell, the crayon is 8 centimeters and the eraser is 3 centimeters. So when we're comparing two objects, uh, two lengths, we can do a subtraction sentence. Okay? So we have here 8 centimeters for the crayon minus 3 centimeters because of the eraser and the difference between that is 5. So we would say here um, the eraser is 5 centimeters shorter or you can say the crayon is 5 centimeters longer. Okay? Um, like I said, there are two ways of comparing, one with numbers and the other one with words. When you're comparing with words, uh, you use words like shortest, longest, taller, tallest, taller. Okay, here we have a sentence comparing the paper clip and the crayon. So we would say the paper clip is shortest and the crayon is longest. Okay, um, right now in your math notebook, um, I would like you to write uh, two sentences using some comparing words like shorter, shortest, um, longest, longer, taller, tallest. Okay, two sentences and you can use this picture to write your sentences and if you need to go ahead and pause the video and press play when you're ready to begin. Um, the next page here, we're going to do some practice. And if you notice at the corner here, uh, we have the magic words, which are how much longer and how much shorter. And last time we talked about whenever you see those words or when you hear those words, that actually is telling you that you need to subtract because you're comparing. Okay? So here we have a picture of a stamp here, and we have a craft stick. Okay, and now in A and B, we're only going to write the lengths of the objects. So the stamp here, if you look at the ruler, it measures three centimeters. Okay, and the craft stick measures ten centimeters. Okay. And C, C is where we're going to compare the two objects. We want to know the difference between the stamp and the craft stick. So mm, we're going to start our subtraction sentence with 10. And we're going to have 10 minus 3. And the difference between those two is 7. So for C, we have our subtraction sentence and then we're going to actually write a sentence here. So we would say the stamp is seven centimeters shorter than the craft stick. Okay? For our next practice, it's a little bit different than the one before. And the reason that it's different is because we don't actually know um, right away what the lengths of the notebooks are and what the lengths of the pen are because they did not start at zero. Okay? The pen started at two and the notebook started at five. So if we're going to find the length of the pen, here if you notice it started at two and then it went to fifteen. So we're going to do a subtraction sentence. Fifteen 
minus 2, and the difference between that was 13. So we would say the pen is 13 centimeters long. Okay? So notice we had to do a subtraction sentence to find the length. Okay? For B, now we're going to find the length for the notebook. Now the notebook started at 5 and ended at 11. So we're going to do 11 minus 5 equals 6. Okay? So the length of the notebook is 6 centimeters. Alright, so now for A and B we have the lengths of them both. So now what we want to do is we want to compare the two lengths. So when we're comparing, we're going to write a subtraction sentence. The pen was 13 centimeters and the notebook was 6 centimeters. So when we subtract them, our answer should be 7. Okay? And if we're going to include that into a sen or write that into a sentence, we would say something like this. The pen is 7 centimeters longer than the notebook. Okay? For the next one, um, you're going to require a ruler. Mm. It says here, use a ruler to measure the lengths of these ribbons. Here we have ribbon A and we have ribbon B. So you're going to answer questions A, B, and C, and D. Now go ahead and write your answers in your math notebook. Okay, I won't tell you the answers. I will read these to you though. Uh, ribbon A is blank centimeters long. Ribbon B is blank centimeters long. Uh, C, ribbon blank is longer than ribbon blank. And D, how much longer? Ooh, those are our magic words. How much longer? That means here that you have to write a subtraction sentence, okay, in order to find the difference between the two. So use your, um, put your ruler against the screen of your, of your computer and measure the, the lengths of those ribbons. Okay, if you have trouble with it, though, don't worry about it. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Um, for the next one, for right now, uh, for now, actually, what you can do is press pause, and when you're finished, you can continue and go to the next, to the last practice. For the last practice here, we have, um, oh, it says, Andrew wrote the following in his book. Help him fill in the blanks with CM or M. Remember, CM is short for centimeters, and M is short for meters. So here we have Andrew, and he, he wrote the numbers, but he actually didn't write if he used centimeters or meters. So we have here, height of flagpole. Okay, so I want you to think. Um, if he measured the, fla the height of the flagpole with, a cent with centimeters or with meters. Okay, think. Flagpole is something big. What would you use? Okay, go ahead and write your answer in your notebook. Number four says length of field, 50 blank. So do you think here they used centimeters or meters? Okay, and you're going to do the same thing for number five, which says length of insect. Okay, an insect is something small, so what would you use? And number six says length of spoon. Okay, a spoon is also a smaller object, so what would you use to measure a smaller object? Okay, go ahead and write your answers in your notebook. That is the last practice for today. Um, when you get to school, you're going to be have you're going to do some independent work today or tomorrow, which is number one, math workbook pages 176, 177, and 178. Um, and if you're finished, you have math choices and. Um, while you're working in your math workbook, I will be working with the rest of the class and talk to you when I am finished if you have any questions about the workbook or about today's video. Okay? Uh, I will see you tomorrow.